Electrive Studio, powered by EVBox. Hello and welcome to the electdrive.com studio in Amsterdam. We are here at the EVBOX event. Uh, the Revolution Conference is buzzing. With me is um, Martin Röhmheld. He is the acting CEO of ELLI, which means the electric life at Volkswagen. He's also overseeing e-mobility at the Volkswagen brand. So I'm most delighted to have you here. Hello, uh, Mr. Röhmheld. Um, maybe we start with the overall Volkswagen perspective here because uh, we are very happy to have uh, had a quite amazing announcement. So if you could uh, give us a, a little overview or walk us through. Right, yes. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you. Um, yeah, I think the announcements that uh, Dr. Dries has made recently are pretty bold statements and um, we are really convinced that e-mobility is the solution to to the to some of the problems that we have with, with mobility, especially with the energy consumption and the carbon dioxide emissions. And uh, from inside the company, you can really feel that there is a massive change underway now, and that the things that are being mentioned and the things that are being proposed to the public are really becoming core beliefs of the company and the company is, is changing a lot so it's very exciting times to work at VW because we have something that can scale and that will scale and we have something at hand that will really make a change. Um, scale is uh, I think the best word, buzzword indeed uh, at the moment it's 22 million electric cars uh, over all across the group by 2030 but you are an e-mobility expert, so is it enough? What would be your ideal target? <laughs> I guess the target, uh, we announced that as well by 2050, is to have an emission-free fleet. And that means basically that all vehicles by 2050 have to use the technology that is emission-free. That was the firm announcement and uh, that sets the target and that sets the pace. Indeed, and um, vehicles are one thing, electric vehicles, but with Ellie, the electric life um, has just come out and we, we have been struggling to fully understand what, what this means. Uh, so far it looks like smart charging is going to play a role, energy charging infrastructure, obviously the vehicles, but maybe you could describe it or, or uh, pin it down for us a little more. Right. Yeah, uh, I think we can boil it down to, to two major issues that we're talking about. Uh, one is, of course, in the past, the vehicle has gone to a filling station, a bit of liquid went from the pump to the tank, and then you were mobile again, right? So that was a very short interaction between the energy market and the vehicle. So in the future, the vehicle will be connected to the energy grid a long time of the day. The vehicle, the EV, will become one of the biggest consumers of electricity in your private household, in your private environment. And the vehicle will exchange data with the infrastructure. So basically the interconnection between the vehicle, the grid, you as a customer and your environment, your smart home, etc., is going to be much more intense than in the past. And of course that creates a lot of question marks for the customer, a lot of questions where he needs answers, where he needs support. We need to create an ecosystem so that the customers actually accept electric vehicles and that the customers can utilize the full potential of the electric vehicle. And therefore it's just logical and it's, it's a necessity for the, for the car manufacturer to dive into that ecosystem and to create the ecosystem and the answers that the customer faces or the, that the customer needs in order to, to adopt the EVs and uh, in the end we need to create something like that to, to make our targets uh, concerning the carbon dioxide emissions. We need customers to adopt these vehicles and therefore they need answers to their questions. But it is, uh, I mean, a necessity, you say. It is a little bit surprising, though, to imagine Volkswagen as a charging infrastructure or charging station producer. Are, you, are we going to see a charging station built and designed by Volkswagen? Yeah, we mentioned uh, that we are going to sell a war box for our customers, so home charging will be part of the portfolio uh, of Ellie. 
uh, we will rather not see so much public charging. I mean, we will see charging stations at the Volkswagen dealerships. So we are actively working towards uh, intensifying and densening uh, the charging network outside by, by utilizing the dealer networks. We are also working on uh, setting up charging stations at our factories for the associates and for, for the company cars. Um, but when it comes to public charging infrastructure, we will rather see the integration in the navigation systems into the travel solutions, uh, so to say, that the customer actually needs to change also long-term travel from uh, combustion engines to electric. Um, I mean, with public charging, Ionity comes to mind, of course. Um, what's going to be the, is there going to be a connection between Ionity and Ellie, and how is this to be integrated? Right. Uh, well, uh, Ellie and Ionity are complementary. Um, Ionity is, is a necessity uh, to enable long travels and to take away this fear from the customer that I can only go around the corner with my EV. So Ionity was something that was vital for the EV adoption. When it comes to LE, Ionity will be integrated in your charging contracts. So uh, we are working on, on a product called WeCharge uh, from VW. So your charging contract, your charging card will be integrated in your car. And then you will, of course, be able to, to pay at the Ionity stations, to use plug and charge at the Ionity stations. Um, but that public high power charging is the Ionity domain and home charging and uh, workplace charging and also charging infrastructure for fleet customers is the domain of Ellie. And this is also definitely smart charging, um, obviously vehicle to home, but also vehicle to grid capability comes to mind. When can we expect to see that? That's a good question. Uh, we have, of course, several hurdles to tackle uh, until that is happening. Um, at the moment, the whole industry is very much focusing on the first generation of EVs to get them into market and, and to get them to scale. Everybody's still kind of like getting used to this new field. Uh, but of course, coming from the energy market and having a lot of experts from the energy market, the potential is clearly visible and we need to address that potential. I cannot tell you a precise schedule about that, but of course, we are also talking about regulatory hurdles that are coming up now because two industries are coming together that have been living in a regulatory framework by themselves, right? And now the combination creates many new questions from, from that aspect as well that have to be addressed. Uh, so we're working on that. We definitely see the potential and we firmly believe that the, the change of the energy system and the change of the mobility system, they belong together. The one needs to work with the other in order to create the overall maximum benefit. And how will uh, Volkswagen uh, become a player? I mean, one thing that comes to mind or that's on the website also is this idea of kind of becoming an energy provider. It's a little bit unclear how. Another thing is obviously the electric cars, the mobile battery or maybe stationary storage. Could you uh, give us a few ideas on the strategy there? Right. Well, one of the things that, that most people don't know about, uh, about Volkswagen is that we have been an energy supplier ever since. Right? One of the first buildings uh, in the factory in Wolfsburg was the power plant. So the whole company is supplied by Volkswagen power plant. Also, the city of Wolfsburg is uh, supplied by the power plant. And actually, precisely looking at it, Volkswagen is even a distribution grid operator. So this is the exciting bit when you work at Volkswagen in this domain that these roles are already present in the company and of course this is a is just a great combination to have all this expertise even though it's small scale compared to, to traditional energy companies but that expertise is in-house and now the pieces come together to make one bigger picture. All right, we leave it as, uh, at this, like uh, one big mix, uh, one big house. Um, this is uh, Alec Drive at the EV Box uh, event in Amsterdam. With us was Martin Röhmheld, uh, who is an e-mobility expert at Volkswagen. Thank you very much for talking to us. Electrive Studio, powered by EV Box.